Hello everyone. Today I will be reviewing the White Knights watercolor paint set. These paints are artist grade and light fast and they're made in Russia. I'm going to tell you a little bit about where the White Knights get their name. White Knights is a term that describes a phenomenon where night is indistinguishable from daytime and the brightest time for White Nights in St. Petersburg is from June 11th to July 2nd. This set of White Nights paint is actually very vibrant. It surprised me a lot. I was actually inspired by Arlisha's channel, Arla Bean, if I'm saying that correctly. She inspires me to make a lot of videos about a lot of different things. Um, I have the 24 set of tubes, which I got off Amazon, and there was a clip earlier in the, in the clips where I have them in 0.5 milliliter pans. This is my first YouTube video, and I'm pretty nervous. I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while. Uh, I started on Etsy about a year and a half ago. I made a shop to offer affordable paint options to people. I mostly sell Daniel Smith and M. Graham paints on there. and My fiance actually runs the shop now and for a while now because I've, I've had some health issues that I've had to deal with, but I really wanna get into making YouTube videos now. I guess this is where I'll mention that the 24 set of 0.5 milliliter pans is available on my website for purchase. I've recently tried to move away from Etsy for various reasons, but you can find the 24 set at peachypigeon.com for $20 plus shipping. I had a lot of fun swatching the White Knights pants actually. They're really vibrant. And when I saw them on the swatches, I I knew I was really going to enjoy them when I, while I was painting. The yellows, they look like fluorescent. They like really jump out at you. Not that yellow is my favorite color, but I can, I can appreciate the vibrancy of the White Knights paints. At the end of the swatching, there'll be a close-up where I wrote down the color names and the pigment numbers, and I'll also have it listed in the description. And right now, I'm just going to let a little bit of music play until we get to the next section. Today I'm going to be painting an owl, and I got my reference from unsplash.com, which is actually my favorite website to get reference pictures from. Um, I love birds. I've loved them my whole life. All birds, any bird. I have two parrots. Their names are Sunny and Tweety. Uh, they're mates. Sunny's 10 years old. Tweety is six years old, and someday I'll, I'll have to tell their story because it's a, it's a good story. It's a sweet story. Um, I'll be painting on an Etcher mixed media sketchbook. Uh, I also got this based off of a suggestion from Arlisha's reviews. 
Uh, I have the same pickiness when I'm working on watercolor paper. I tend to expect a lot out of it, and this seemed like it would be the perfect sketch. Well, not perfect, but it would be a good sketchbook for me to invest in, and I'll be doing a review on it because this video is not about that, but. I definitely enjoy the sketchbook a lot. The colors I used to paint the owl today were English Red, which is PR 101, so Indian Red, Sepia, which for White Knight is Three Pigments, PR 102, PR 187, and PBK7 and Lamp Black, which is PBK7. Uh, oh, I can't forget, I used PG8 Green, which I know is known to be somewhat fugitive. I've heard a lot of people mention that, but it looks like a sap green, which is what I was looking for. I neutralized it with some of the sepia and really like the way that it looks so it works out for me okay so a little bit more about this paint it activates really well when placed in a pan as i mentioned earlier i put all 24 colors in 0.5 milliliter pans and let them dry overnight they activate just as well as uh, any other most other professional brands, there's, there's some that don't activate as well, but these ones do. And just to mention, doing swatches is nice, you know? Like you can get a good idea of pigment load, but you can't really get an idea of how the painting is actually going to work out until you do you know, something like what I'm doing here, which is why I wanted to show it in action rather than just with swatches. If you hear background noise, that's Sonny. He likes to sing. Um, I'm going to work more with this paint before, or I mean, I'm going to work more with this paint and make like an updated video. Because, you know, I plan on making many more paintings with this paint, obviously, because I, I really do like it. That way I can get a better feel for it and show what it looks like on different papers. Because one of the things I wanted to mention is on the Etcher Cold Press sketchbook, it's the swatches are vibrant, like really vibrant. So it makes me wonder on my Arches Hot Press paper, which is my current favorite. It, I wonder, if, you know, what they're going to look like on there. Because I actually was painting with some m -gram paint today for another video. And I was very underwhelmed with how many layers of paint I had to put, you know... Mgram is known for <clears throat> their pigment load and I could just be being too harsh because it's it's cold pressed paper and that, that's that's just a thing with cold pressed paper and so maybe that's just it but anyways I'm excited to see what the White Knight's paint looks like on hot press paper. As far as layering goes uh, this paint glazed really well. I I didn't have any problems with disturbing, you know, layers underneath, which could possibly be due to the paper, but it, it was a good experience overall. I was able to keep building up what I needed to. It's definitely a painting where I had to trust the process because I was kind of frustrated a good good way through it but it was just one of those paintings where you just you just had to trust the process and the more layers that I put on the owl the better it started looking and uh, 
there's I actually ran out of room on my iPhone. That's what I'm currently filming on, and I ran out of room, so towards the end of the painting, there's some, like, the final details, like, the darkest final details. I had to do that off camera, and then for the background, I was able to do the first two layers, I think, of the background, which I ended up really liking, but I also had to do the final layer of the background off camera, but there's a part actually in the video that shows, like, I, I was a little frustrated with the background not, not being as strong as I wanted it to be, and I, I just went straight in with the green PG-8 color, and I, oh, I messed up there, and, but I saved it, and that, that's another thing that I like about this paper is as long as it's wet on wet application, I was able to lift all that away. Thankfully, that, that would have ruined the whole entire painting. So y you'll get to witness that. And that's just a, that just shows how nice the paper is as far as lifting goes. For comparison's sake, I know it sounds like I'm loving everything about the White Knight's colors, and it's because I am, but I've tried my fair share of paints and seen what they can do on a lot of different papers, and as far as, like, pigment load and the way that it dries and the way that it flows and the, how strong the color shows, I'm going to say it's right there, right next to Daniel Smith. And that's just my opinion. I mean, it's it's strong. I, I think I should probably... I'll probably do a video comparing the two, but that's how I'm feeling right now about it. I'm trying to think of things I might be forgetting, but... So, 20 out of 24 of the colors that come in this... 24 tube set are single pigment which is nice and if I had to make any complaints it would just be subjective which is that if I could have I would have liked to paint the owl with a Payne's gray and a burnt sienna instead of the English red and the, the lamp black but I used what I have and I I really like it, so if that's just the one thing that if I had to make a complaint, that's what it would be about. But overall, they get a thumbs up from me. I'm a little surprised I haven't heard more about the White Knights paint. I mean, I've heard, I've heard it like here and there mentioned, but even when I looked up like reviews and stuff, I couldn't find a lot. I found some, and they were nice. And I mentioned earlier, the the main reason I wanted to try these is I saw Arlisha's more recent video where she made an updated list of her favorite watercolors, and one of the brands on her list was White Knights. And the way she explained it, I was like, ooh, that looks like something that I would like. So... That's that.
think this concludes everything that I want to say. I, I've had notes that I've been reading from loosely, but I'm sure there's probably a ton of things I miss, but I'll learn as I go along and make more videos, but thank you so much for watching, and if this helped you in any way at all, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.